Hi everyone, welcome to the second video tutorial. In this video, we will cover the topics of providing liquidity, setting the price range for your liquidity, and removing liquidity from Send Futures V3. To provide liquidity, you need to first connect your wallet, mint mock USDC, and transfer the required tokens. If you are not sure how to do any of these steps, please watch our previous video where we explained the process in detail. Assuming you have done all that, the next step is to go to the Earn section. Because Sin Futures uses the synthetic AMM model, you can provide liquidity for any pair with just one token, in this case, USDC. In addition, Sin Futures V3 also allows users to provide concentrated liquidity. This innovation improves the capital efficiency of LP's asset and provides a better trading experience for both the LP and the trader. To provide liquidity, choose the pair from the drop-down box above the chart. Enter the amount of liquidity that you want to provide. Choose your price range by moving the slider. Moving the slider right increases the range and left decreases it. Below the slider is a green histogram that shows the current level of liquidity available at different ranges. The black line in the middle is the current price, and the green line represents the upper and lower limit of the range where you will be providing liquidity. If the slider is at the extreme left, the range is small. It provides high capital efficiency and a high APY rate, but also increases the chance of liquidation, which would convert your LP into a trading position. If the slider is at extreme right, the range is large. Capital efficiency and APY are both low, but the chances of getting liquidated are also small. Choose the range that you're comfortable with. And click Confirm. And that's it. You're now providing liquidity for the chosen pair. Under the Liquidity tab, you can see your current LP position and all its details. You can also view your previous liquidity provision details by clicking on the History tab. Removing liquidity is a two-step process. First, you must close your LP position, which will then get converted into a trading position. Next, you must close the trading position. To close your LP, find the position on the Liquidity tab and click Remove. Once you do that, the Add Liquidity box will change to Remove Liquidity. It will list out the value to be removed, the size of the resulting position, margin, and leverage used. You can check all the details here and click Confirm. The transaction could take a few minutes depending on the congestion on the network. 
Once the transaction is confirmed, you will see a Manage Position option. Click on it and it will take you to the Trading section. Scroll down to the Position tab and click Close. The Close Position dialog box will show the rate at which the trade is likely to get executed. Click Close once again. Once the trade gets confirmed, your liquidity will be added to your account balance. As you have seen, providing and removing liquidity is an easy and straightforward task on Send Futures V3. Try it out and feel free to reach out to us through Twitter, Telegram, or Discord if you have any further doubts.